they're cleaning house. You're leaving the Army with an honorable discharge, but you're losing your pension and health care. We gave them our minds, our bodies, and our spirit. And they chewed us up and spit us out. Really what attracted me to it is that it's it's a great ride, it's a great thrill, it's a great action uh, piece, but at the heart of it, it's a character study about a man who's stripped of everything that he holds dear, uh, everything that he's built his life around, freedom, honor, democracy, uh, protecting values, and his whole life is taken away from him. And the only thing that really exists for him are his family. And his family is something that's not ideological, it's not political, it's, you know, it's animal, animal instinct to take care of your, your offspring and your partners. So I thought that story was very interesting to tell. The subject of the returning soldier uh, is one that will keep providing uh, 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 a lot of great questions. And I, I thought that this, this one walked a line of genre uh, without sacrificing character uh, of the difficult choices that, uh, and decisions one must make when one retires or one's let go of the military. I'm more interested in the questions and I suppose the... Uh, the taught answer. We all know what one motivated radical can do. So let's cowboy up, get it done, and get home to our families. You don't understand what you're doing. I'm trying to save lives. This is only about money. That's a huge, it's a huge issue. It's something we've we talked a lot about while we were filming. I, I don't remember the statistic, but Ben, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think more uh, soldiers die from self-inflicted gunshot wounds than they do in, in theater. Is that right, Ben? 22 a day. So that, I mean, that, that, there you go. So it's, it is very important to talk about it. And I'm, I'm glad that we raised it in our film and, uh, we could have spent more time on it, but at least maybe it'll make people think and ask some questions. It is. Uh, uh, as an example, the, the Army has a different procedure of entering a space than the Navy does. And finding those unique signatures uh, uh, in an accelerated learning process, drawing upon previous training, uh, you start building a, a physical uh, uh, sh uh, ability, you hope. Because the biggest nightmare for what we do, and it's not, it's not a huge nightmare, it's just soul crushing, uh, is that somebody in the Green Berets like, nah, wouldn't move like that. And the, the people helping us on set who are, who, who, who lived the life, uh, it's on their heads too. So we can't let them down. So, so we're all very uh, motivated to at least give a sense of the culture feels lived in. I've got an extraction team, Brown BMW X1, comply. I'll do that when you confirm who you're working for. You work for me. You gotta trust me. I am trying to help you. Oh, we're working for the president of a corporation. Get in the car. Uh, to what Ben said, yeah, you feel responsibility to the technical advisory, you feel responsibility to the community because these are people that are using these techniques to in life or death situations. Um, I also just nerd out on it. I mean, there, you know, there is a thing. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, my mom gave me a Barbie doll and I ripped off its head and turned it into a gun. So it's like, there is, there is some like little, little, um, uh, I love all that technical stuff and the using the stuff and how do you load? And it's just because it's all pretend for me. I don't actually have to go to battle. Um, so yeah. He's gonna come after you with everything he's got. 